Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I want to ask you a question this morning, and I want you to answer it honestly, just in the quiet of your own heart. Is your faith growing? And if so, is it growing intentionally? Are you opening yourself up to what God might have for you? Today's account, we're going to read in the book of Acts, is instructional in that respect because it's about Simon Peter, a man who was one of Jesus' leading apostles during the first century. He was helping this brand new church to grow, and yet he himself continues to grow in his faith. We're going to read Acts chapter 10, verses 9 through 23 today. It's a long passage, so let's get with it. Now, we've heard about a man named Cornelius who was a devout Roman centurion who believed in God, and he is given a vision to send for Simon Peter, and he has done so. So in chapter 10, verse 9, it says, The next day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, now this is the people that Cornelius has sent, Peter went up on the housetop about the sixth hour to pray, and he became hungry and wanted something to eat. But while they were preparing it, he fell into a trance, and he saw the heavens opened, and something like a great sheet descending, being let down by its four corners upon the earth. In it were all kinds of animals and reptiles and birds of the air. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, By no means, Lord, for I've never eaten anything that's common or unclean. And the voice came to him again a second time, What God has made clean, do not call common. This happened three times, and the thing was taken up at once to heaven. Now, while Peter was inwardly perplexed as to what the vision that he had seen might mean, behold, the men who were sent by Cornelius, having made inquiry for Simon's house, stood at the gate, and they called out to ask whether Simon, who was called Peter, was lodging there. And while Peter was pondering the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold, three men are looking for you. Rise and go down and accompany them without hesitation, for I have sent them. And Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you're looking for. What is the reason for your coming? And they said, Cornelius, a centurion, an upright and God-fearing man who is well spoken of by the whole Jewish nation, was directed by a holy angel to send for you, to come to his house and to hear what you have to say. So he invited them in to be his guests. The next day he rose and went away with them, and some of the brothers from Joppa accompanied him. Now, friends, I don't know if you've ever had a vision. I've certainly never had one like Peter had with such detail and precision. But what I know is this. Like Simon, we need to be prepared to receive from the Lord as he continues to instruct us in our faith. Now, think this through. Simon was a leader in the church. He could be considered to be like a pastor in our day. Only he was an apostle. He had even more authority than a pastor. And yet Peter is still open to the Lord's leading. He's still allowing the Lord to teach him. And so as this vision comes to him, Peter is questioning the Lord. What does this mean? What am I to understand from this? And the Lord, in the process of teaching him, is using real life to interject illustrations along with the vision to guide him in his faith. And friends, we've got to have our eyes wide open as we walk through this world, don't we? We've got to be not only listening to the voice of our Savior, and following as he leads. But we've got to be watching what's going on around us and seeing how what the Spirit of God is teaching us is instructing us as pertains to the things that are going on around us. That's what's happening in Peter's life. We're going to see it more clearly in the verses to come. But my friends, let me point out some things about Peter. Peter received the vision. He interacted with God about it. He prayed and he asked God to instruct him as things were going along, and he was open to the voice of God. My friends, we've got to do the same. We've got to receive from the Lord. We've got to follow his lead, and we've got to ask him to teach us and to instruct us. No matter how, quote-unquote, mature we might be in our faith, he has more to teach us. There's more about our Savior that we have to learn, and there's more we may be called on to do in this world, even outside the box of what we think is typical as believers in Jesus. That's what Peter is about to find out. We're going to see more about it in our next episode. Jesus, help us to be like Peter in this way. Grow us in our faith no matter how long we have been in the faith. 
Enable us to be ready to respond to your vision, to your direction, to your instruction, whether it comes through your scripture, through a sermon we might hear, through a song you might give us, through just a gentle nudge of your Holy Spirit. Make us ready to respond like Peter did. And give us faith to trust you, to be bigger than our misinterpretations, bigger than our failings, that you can and will guide us as we seek to simply trust you as we grow in our faith.